Hey, good morning. I am out here. I decided to go ahead and check those valve clearances on the Suzuki. Now I just got done taking the bolts back off and we will very gently lift this up so we don't mess up the gasket. When you do this, make sure everything is super clean because you don't want any dirt from the top to fall into your engine. And you should also do it uh, before you plan an oil change. So if any dirt and debris gets in there, it'll be cleaned out with the oil change. And I laid it down exactly like how it sat on here so that I will know how to put it back. And now, for those of you who've never seen, this is what it looks like. These are your cam lobes. So here's your cam shafts. See, there's two of them. There's two valves on each cylinder. There's two cylinders on this bike, and there's two valves on each cylinder intake and exhaust. And so, so there's the cam lobes here and over here and here and what I'm going to do is under here is the tappets and the little shims that adjust how much clearance the valves have so we have to put a 0.03 this is an 04, I don't have an 03, so this is the smallest I have here. And look at how thin, it's very, very thin. And so it has to be between 0.03 and 0.08 on these gauges. We will turn the cam till each one of these is straight up and down and take the measurement and see if they are within specs. So this little cover is what we will remove to access the bolt which will enable us to turn to make those loads move. sure that I don't tear the gaskets so I'm gonna make it all go on the lid side gently pry it off of here there we go this is what it looks like and there and we will just get a wrench that fits that larger bolt not the smaller one in the middle but we'll get a wrench that fits that larger bolt and we'll turn it clockwise to turn the engine three quarter inch socket is what fits on there Watching them all. And now it looks like this one on the other side is up. So we'll test that one. So that is perfect. It goes straight in there with a little bit of resistance. And so I believe that that one is perfect. Now, we'll keep turning it and testing all four of them.
All right, so that was actually pretty painless. As long as we can get this cover back on nice and straight without hitting anything or messing anything up, we'll be golden. But that's really neat to have a look in there and see the goings on. It says in the 450s it has an automatic uh, timing adjustment thing so you don't have to worry about ever adjusting the timing. It should always be right. Now very gently without hitting anything. I will try to put this back on. All right. So that's why we had to take, I was wondering, I was like, I don't think we have to take this off, but just this tiny bit of room that it saves taking this off helped it. And this is just for where the, uh, the breather goes in the top of the engine. I know how hard it was to put this breather hose in, so I'll just go ahead and flip it in now. There, <laughs> now I can screw it in like that. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. And I'll check in my book and see if there's a torque for these. So there is a special pattern to use when tightening the bolts. And so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's tightened from inside to the outside. And it should be five to seven foot pounds of torque to these bolts. And also, as I was looking for that torque specification, I found something that I'll read to you because it sounds kind of important. It says, never use a magnet to lift out adjustment shims. They're made of hardened steel and are easily magnetized. A magnetized part will attract and hold metal particles which could cause excessive wear. A magnetized adjustment shim could also lift out a tappet while the engine is running and cause serious and expensive engine damage. So when you're under there, if you needed to change those tappets, uh, I mean, if you needed to change the shims, if I had one that was a little out of spec and I needed to adjust it, get a thicker, thinner shim, I would just use a little screwdriver or something like that to lift it out and not a magnet because that could cause serious problems to your engine. So it's just, you know, part of periodic maintenance that helps keep your bike running for a long time, helps keep it healthy. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for somebody. Y'all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.